Friday, September 8th, which means on prize picks, Flex Friday, $20 entry is protected. If you lose, you get it back in promo funds tomorrow. So this is a day where I recommend a six man. So I got five good props for MLB and five for WNBA. Uh, for WNBA, there's five games, so there's a lot of value. So I had to narrow it down to the five best. Uh, but let's start off with MOB, and I'm going to go straight to his pitcher strikeouts. And I'm going to go with the Dodgers rookie, Emmett Sheehan, at 3.5. He is going against the Nationals. I have him going over. Uh, Emmett Sheehan is not much of a strikeout pitcher, but he does average between four and five strikeouts a game. Uh, I think they need him to step up since he's going to take over uh, Julio Urias' rotation spot along with Ryan Pepiot. Uh, but I think he's going to have a great game. I think he'll probably get five strikeouts for this game. So I have him going over. Uh, my next one are both our hits allowed. And my first one is going to be uh, George Kirby going against uh, the race. Tough opponent. I think they'll get five or six hits off of him. We do have push equity. So I have him going over. And my next one for hits allowed is Jordan Montgomery. He's at 4.5. I think this is going to get bumped to 5. Last time he faced Oakland, he allowed like 7 hits, I believe. He has 7 hits. Uh, he doesn't strike out as much either. Uh, so I think Oakland will put the ball in play. I think he'll allow like 5 or 6 hits for this game. Uh, but if it's at 5, you're looking at push equity if it does get bumped. But right now at 4.5, it's a good line to take. And my next one is a pitcher fantasy problem. This is my probably my favorite one in my anchor for today. Uh, for MLB is Kodaya Senga. His strikeouts is a bit too high right now. It's at 7. If it does get bumped down to 6.5, uh, his strikeouts are good. He is going against the, one of the top teams in strikeout rate, the Minnesota Twins. Uh, but I like his fantasy score better. I think they, he'll probably get the win as well. So you can see he's faced some pretty tough teams against the Cubs, Braves, and Mariners. And he blew past that mark so at 36.5 i think it's a good uh it's a good prop to take my my favorite uh for mob today and my last one is a combo prop a strikeout prop and i'm gonna go with mike clevenger and reese olsen this is going uh been bumping up and down it was at 9.5 and it got bumped to 10 then it got bumped down to 9.5 again and now it's at 10 i like it under at 10 uh, the fact that these two faced off each other like two weeks ago and Clevenger got hit for like 12 hits and he didn't even last five innings and he only uh, he only had like two strikeouts and Reese Olsen pitched like seven innings complete and he only had like one strikeout. So combine those three, those three strikeouts in the past start. I think they'll do better, but I don't think they're going to go over 10 strikeouts. Both of them are not known for strike uh, for high strikeout totals. Uh, so I like this one a lot. And I'm taking the under on that. Especially since it's at 10 right now, we have the push equity. But those are the five I'm going to go with MOB, Emmett Sheehan over pitcher strikeouts, Kirby and Montgomery over hits allowed, Kodaya Senga, my favorite, my anchor uh, over pitcher fantasy score, and the Nerfy strikeout prop, less with Clevenger and Olsen. So let's head on over to WNBA. And we're going to go straight to blocks and steals. And I think this is way too low for Nafisia. He said Collier at 2.5. I think he's going to get bumped to 3. Usually she averages about 4. Uh, she does have a favorable matchup against Chicago. I think she'll get 4 or maybe more. As you can see her past 5, she's been normally averaging almost 5. Uh, but I think she'll get 3 or more uh, against Chicago. As you can see she had 7 against Dallas. It's pretty insane. So I have her going over. Uh, my next one is a rebounds and assist prop. And I'm going to go with Reen Howard at 9. If it gets bumped to 9.5, I think you should fade. But at 9, I like to push equity. I have her going over. Uh, if you want to fade this prop, uh, her rebounds is also good. Uh, but I like the rebounds and assist. Uh, next one is an assist prop. And I'm going to go with Jackie Young from the Aces. I think she's going to dish the ball. I think it might be a blowout as well. Uh, so I think Jackie Young's going to distribute, uh, distribute the ball out against Phoenix. Uh, just keep in mind it is i think it's going to be a blowout so i think she'll get her assist and probably be benched the fourth quarter uh, but i see her going over four and my next one 
two of them for fantasy scores. And I'm going to go with Aaliyah Boston. She's been killing this line. She did have a stinker last game. I think she's going to bounce back in a big way. As you can see, she's at 33. She averaged about 35 to 38. As you can see, she smashes this line uh, prior to her, her game that she didn't. Uh, but I think she's going to bounce back in a big way. I think she's going to have like 38, 39 fantasy scores, especially against Connecticut. Uh, not one of the top two. Top teams. So I have her going over. And my last one for fantasy score, I'm going to go with Kalia Copper. She's been cashing for us. I'm going to take her again. Her line hasn't moved up. It's been between 28, 28.5 28 for the past two weeks. I'm still taking the over. She's been smashing this line. She is going against Minnesota. Uh, it should be a good competitive game between Chicago and Minnesota. So I have her going over. Those are the five I'm going to be going with WNBA. Aficia over blocks and steals, Reen Hauer over rebounds and assists, Jackie Young over assists, Aaliyah Boston, Kalia Copper over fantasy score. As for sleeper, I posted this yesterday uh, for the NFL video, uh, but these are the picks I'm going for today. They're for today. Uh, the, the promotion pick for sleeper, the free square, is basically for Sunday, but I pair these up with the two for today's, uh, for today's MLB games, and I'm going to go with Dallas Keiko over hits allowed. At 4.5 and Kodaya Senga at 6.5 over. So good luck. Mix and match. Remember, um, Flex Friday, $20 max entry. You can do a 4, 5, 6 flex and have it protected for tomorrow if you do lose. But I gave you 10 good props, 5 for MOB and 5 for WNBA. You guys can mix and match. Pick your favorites. Good luck. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the comments, good or bad. And I'll see you guys in the next one.